Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading for the 29th, which is Tuesday, October 29th. Spirit and angels, what do we need to know about the 29th of October? We're coming up on Halloween, everyone. I know not everybody celebrates it, but we do. What do we need to know? 29th of October, what's important? What's important? Tuesday, the 29th of October for anyone who's guided. Okay, wow, I haven't seen the world come out in this deck in ages. All right, so those of you that know my channel know I usually do oracle cards too, but in light of the hurricane that I have a disaster on my hands, so I'm just trying to get dailies out for you guys. What else do we need to know? What are the messages? We have a shortage of workers, so there's no one to even do the work. When you call people, they're like, hey, I'll put you on the waiting list. See you in six months. What do we need to know? What are the messages here, please? Can we get a little more? Yeah, there we go. All right. So, you know, there's something going on here where you feel like you can't budge on something because, well, the world's in reverse. And see how she holds the key with the world here. I really love these cards. This is, of course, these are a little creepy because they're haunted house for Halloween. Tarot, this is my favorite Halloween deck of all my Halloween decks. We also have Everyday Witch, which is another one of my, but it's a favorite cute deck. This one's a favorite creepy deck, but not too creepy. So this, she holds the key, right? She, he, they, everything I say, she, he, they, please. There's no gender specifics on my channel. All right, world in reverse, there's a whole cycle that wants to change here, but for some reason, it's stuck. The Knight of Wands is reversed, and the Eight of Swords is in the upright. This is, I can't budge. All right, but it could be a move with the Four of Wands here in the reverse as well. There also could be information you don't have. There's movement you don't have. There's a lot going on here with, I can't budge, I can't move. The moon is here. You might not have all the information, like I said, with that Queen of Swords reversed. And the Knight of Wands reversed sometimes brings in information as well. But this is like, I can't, this is all I can't budge right there with the world. This is your central issue smack dab in the middle up here. So this works with this energy. And both of them say we're in a, well, all three of these say we're in a deadlock. All right, now the moon's here. There might You might not really know why, or there might be missing pieces or information that we don't know. We've got the three of pentacles. There could be three people involved. See how these two are stuck in, or this person's got her tied up and trying to drag her in too. But, you know, these are a little creepy because they're Halloween cards. But it really says to me there's three, could be three people involved in this. We also have the... Uh, the Hierophant or the High Priest in reverse here. We also have the Five of Wands here. I feel like this can't budge or move. And there might be a lot of different factors, you know, or it could be that there's a lot going on right now. All right, let's find out. Or there could be opposing energies, you know. So this person doesn't want to be involved with these people. So there really could be opposing kind of energy. Let's find out. If we can't work together, things can't move. That's what I'm feeling. But let's find out what it is. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. This also could indicate that you're having something at work isn't moving or a project you're working on just isn't budging. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Tell me about the world in reverse. What do we need to know? The world in reverse. Okay, we've got the, the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse. Exactly. New beginning, the death and rebirth, the world coming in, the last card in tarot, and then this beautiful Ace of Beginning. Also, you have the Page of Cups, which is also new, new, exciting energy. The Page of Cups and the Six of Swords, forward movement, moving to a peaceful place. This is all about that movement and new beginnings, new opportunities, new energy that's been just completely on hold the same exact message coming through here let's see what we can find out 
All right, let's, and you know, the page of swords is at the bottom. You could be waiting for news and information. Let's look at that. Tell me about the moon. What about the moon? What, what is it we don't know? Ah, King of Pentacles reverse. You could be waiting for the finances for this. Tell me about the Knight of Wands reverse, Knight of Wands reverse, and you just don't know what's going on. Tell me about the Knight of Wands reversed. Yeah, waiting for information. Absolutely. This is something you want, Nine of Cups, but you can't budge until this information comes in. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. What about it? The Magician. Absolutely manifesting, working on something possibly together with other people. I want to get another one here. Magician and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, yep, there it is. The Hanged Man came out in the reverse. So this hangman was one time like this, waiting, waiting, waiting. I really do feel like you're waiting for something you've been manifesting. I'm going to put all these back. It's just too many cards. This energy of I'm waiting for whatever it is I've been creating. But this creation, it could be something you've been working on, like you're waiting to see the fruits of your labor. You're waiting to, for answers. I feel like some of you are waiting for money answers or some kind of, this could even be work. I'm waiting to know, did I get the job? Am I going to get the project? Am I going to get the um, contract? The Hierophant reversed here. Tell me about the Hierophant reversed, the high priest. What do we need to know? What are the messages? You could even be waiting to get released from a contract. I just got that with this person feeling stuck, you know, like she's bound. See how he has her bound? He, she, they, doesn't matter. This is just creepy cards. You could be waiting to be released from a contract so you're free, free, six of swords, free to move forward. Tell me about the uh, Hierophant reversed. What about it? That's for some of you. That That is only going to be for some of you because that just came through all of a sudden. Tell me about the Hierophant the star card and the eight of uh, the eight of pentacles this is work for many of you and it has something to do with your creativity your work your pay something like this five of pentacles is reversed at the bottom as well which we want to see it that way you could be waiting to get paid for a project you already did or to find out about a project you're going to be on or if you're going to get the job or something like this, please comment down below. I'm going to want to hear about this one. All right. Tell me about the five of wands, please. Five of wands. And please don't forget to hit the like on these daily readings. We want them to grow and expand. Most readers do not do them because it's very hard to let people know, hey, I'm over here. I'm a needle in a haystack. The only way for people to know these readings are on this channel and for us to grow them so we keep them on the channel is by you guys hitting the like and telling YouTube they're worth watching and then YouTube will recommend them to people who have never seen them. So thank you for helping you guys. Tell me about the five of wands. What do we need to know? Five of wands. And that's just the way YouTube works for everyone. You know, you don't get, you don't get recognition if the people aren't telling YouTube that they like the videos. Tell me about five of wands, please. What about five of wands? Oh, the death card came out as a challenge. Now, keep in mind, this, like I said, could be competition. It could be opposing energies. Oh, it could just be a lot going on. The death card causes a death and rebirth and a transformation, which we know is trying to happen up here because your world is stuck with your new beginning, your ace of pentacles stuck, and the goal is the new energy to come through. Page of Cups, Six of Swords, this movement, Hangman in Reverse. We want this movement. This is wish fulfillment. Eight of Cups. So we've got the Eight of Cups here on top of the Five of Wands and the Death card as a challenge. Movement, Six of Swords, Eight of Cups is so important here because if you could get unstuck, get, literally get unstuck, you could move towards something. For some of you, this could be home and family. Could ha It could be the project of your home, your family, you could have put a lot of work into um, a property and you or you could be wanting to move to another property. There's something going on waiting for the money, not knowing answers, not knowing what's going to happen for some of you. The, most of you, I feel like this is about the this. This is the four of wands is where you work. So you're waiting for answers about that. I feel like you just don't have all the answers and you can't budge until you do. You need this transformation of the death card, which is the challenge, and the eight of swords, world reverse, knight of wands reverse, that 
breaks on kind of energy of I can't budge till I know what's going on with the money. My wish is this eight of pentacles in the upright. You know, my wish is possibly a contract, possibly uh, for some of you, you're wishing to be released from a contract so you can move towards something better or something else or just move on. You know, it's time past its sell by date for others of you. And this could be a home contract as well. Like I said, for some of you, it could have something to do with selling or buying a property or both, even both. Like I can't buy the new property if I don't sell the old one. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you enjoyed this daily reading. Thanks for hitting the like, commenting down below and for being here. I appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.